My dad's idea of a treat for me and my sister was for us to sit in, on the stairs of the upstairs room, which is where they had the folk club, and with a pint of lemonade each and a bag of crisps, and we just used to sit and listen to the songs, didn't we? This is a film about John and his son Jeremy and their love of folk music. Following the loss of wife and mum, Jennifer, their shared passion for folk music has helped them through a difficult time. What I like about folk music, I suppose, is that it covers such a wide range of, of topics and, and, and music, so, you know, from simple work songs, songs about the seasons and, and, and that sort of thing. Even um, things like um, lace making. There were uh, songs to get the old pins rattling fast so they could turn out lace uh, at, at high production rates. Those sort of songs are, are really fascinating. Every one of those songs tells a little story. What I like to do is I like to try and work out what, what the writer of the song is trying to tell you. Because each one, each and every song is, is a little story in of itself, if you follow. So that's what, one of the things I like about folk music. Probably the oldest folk song I remember is in Afrikaans, and I must have learnt that when I was five or six. I can still remember it to this day. I'm good at, at picking up tunes and, and, uh, and words, and uh, it was short enough. For, for, for me to remember it even at that age. Dis te fair om te rei, dis te na om te blei, hoe sal ek maak om die nooit te krei. The folk music isn't everything though. They both have other interests. For John, it's restoring his 1937 Riley classic. This is a 20 year restoration on my card. I found it up in Anglesey, where it had been in a quarry for well, since from 1957 to 1980, just standing there with rain coming down on it. As you can see, it was in a bit of a state. Most of the bits were, most of the bits were there, um, but um, they were not on the car at the time. They were littered all over the blooming place. I took it home and stripped it down and took photographs of everything because I knew when I came to put it back together again I wouldn't know where things went. For Jeremy, it's the open road and meeting up with fellow bikers. I've been... I had my bike for about um, four or five years, but I've been motorcycling since 1979. <sighs> there we are. I, I like the freedom. The fact that it's just me, a bedroll and, and my tent. I haven't got, I haven't got worries about taking anybody on the back of me or... I'm, I tend to ride solo. I don't like having people on the back. Before I joined my bike club, I was quite, quite an introverted, quiet person, and I didn't um, didn't so mix much socially. So my my friend Ronnie introduced me to the bike club, and they kind of bought me out out of myself a little bit, and got me got me involved in in activity in their little activities and going on runs. Oh yes, I have to give it a swift. Whack. I enjoy the companionship and just people, just the people. The people are very, they may look a bit scruffy and a bit oily and a bit nasty, but by and in large, they're all right people, really. Living within walking distance of each other, they're constantly in and out of each other's lives. So when's the next folk club, Dad? Pardon? When's the next folk club? The next, the next one is on uh, Sunday, it's it's Wayborn. It's women. Uh, Sunday afternoon, three till six. Oh right. Well, me, I've started smoking again. You aren't.
I, uh... What, pipe? Yeah. Uh, are you still smoking the same rubbish that you used to smoke? <laughs> yeah, it smells quite nice. Well, yeah, if you like that sort of thing. For the next folk club, John and Jeremy have been set a challenge to sing a non-traditional folk song in a folky way. Today they're meeting up to discuss tactics. Um, are, are you going to do... Uh, I'm going to do the Black Velvet, the black, Long Black Veil. It's not a folk song. OK. As such. Shall I do it, shall I it? Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a try. Right. Ten years ago, on a dark, dark night, a man was killed by the town hall lights. There were few at the scene, but they all agreed the slayer who ran looked a lot like me. The judge said, son, what is your alibi? If you were somewhere else, well, you won't have to die. But I spoke not a word, though it meant my life. For I had been in the arms of my best friend's wife. She walks these hills in a long black veil. Nobody knows, nobody sees, nobody knows but me. That one will do. Yeah, it's not technique, yeah. No, no, that'll do. Yeah, that's another one I could do. Right. The, um, the Gladiator song. Yeah. Have you ever seen a Roman candle? He never lets his braces dangle. My name's Marcus, Diddy I Carcass, permanent address of Rome. <gasps> oi, oi, oi. Down oi. by the Colosseum we goes marching, wearing dickies that ain't got no starching. There's old Nero, he's our hero, watching the procession on a belly full of hero. <laughs> Glad, 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 really, really glad, glad, glad I'm a gladiator. Ancient Rome, that's my own pride. Fish shop on the hippodrome. I'm glad, glad, very, really, really glad from the helmet to me toes. My old man's a Roman glad and we'll be a Roman nose. Oi. We, we ought to do that one at the Christmas thing at Way, Wayborn. Yes. Because that's a fancy dress thing. We dress up as Romans. I like, I think you look good in a skirt. <laughs> I saw an old beggar man black at the hills. I asked the old beggar if he could fight with his eyes and beard as black as night. Guy, 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 stick him up on high, stick him on a lamppost and there let him die. All the boys, all the boys, God save the king. All the boys, all the boys, God save the king. Well, give the old beggar a penny, you know he ain't got any. If you haven't got a penny, well, an apenny will do. If you haven't got an apenny, well, God bless you. Guy, 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 stick him up on high, stick him on a lamppost and there let him die. All the boys, all the boys, God save the king. All the boys, all the boys, God save the king. Been a hell's angel for many a year. When I spent all my money on black leather gear, and now I'm returning, my bum it is sore. But I never will be a hell's angel no more, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more will I be a hell's angel. No, never, no more. I pulled into a garage I used to frequent, and I told the mechanic me crankshaft was bent. I asked him for a new one, he answered me nay. He said, Yours is a Norton, we stop BSA, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more will I be. 
Now never, no more.